part 3 chapter 14 our earth now we'll begin with the revolution of the earth the movement of the earth around the sun in a fixed path is called a revolution the earth revolves from west to east that is in the anticlockwise direction Revolution is the movement of the earth around the sun. The earth takes full year, that is 365 days, for one complete revolution around the sun. The six hours or one full day of four years are combined to make an extra day in a leap year, that is 366 days. Now, revolution of the earth causes seasons. It not only affects but actually causes. The temperature condition that gives us spring, summer, autumn, winter seasons. With seasons, it depends on a weather whether you live in the northern or southern hemisphere because the earth's axis tilts towards one of the two as it moves around the sun. The seasons are always opposite in each hemisphere. The part of the earth near the sun has summer and the part away from the sun has winter. Children, you all know that there are five main seasons that is summer, winter, monsoon, spring and autumn. Students, the earth is a unique planet because it has given us air water, plants and animals. No other planet has three thing, uh, this things which support life. We should take good care of our earth and make it a better planet for our future generation. Now, let's take a quick review what we have learnt in all these three parts. The sun and the eight planets around it form the solar system. The earth is the only planet which can support life. The earth is round in shape. The earth shows two types of movements, rotation and revolution. Rotation causes days and nights and revolution causes seasons. We must take good care of our earth. Thank you.